Here in this video we are going to list down the 10 biggest spaceships of the Galactic Empire of Star Wars. Remember, of the Galactic Empire, not the First Order or the Republic or the Rebellion or the Resistance. So anyway, let's get to it. At number 10 we have the Praetor Mark II Battlecruiser. This was a large warship in the Imperial Navy, part of the Star Destroyer design family. It had a distinct wedge shaped design and was considered the largest known battlecruiser. Its size ranged from 4.8 to 8 kilometers, making it technically a Star Dreadnought. It had three primary engines and four secondary engines, with two located on the ventral portion of the ship and the other two left behind in the stern's rich extension. The battlecruiser was equipped with at least 90 weapon systems and also deflected shields capable of repelling conventional blaster bolts. Number 9. The Manator III Class Dreadnought The Manator III Class Dreadnought was an enlarged and heavily armed version of the Manator Class and the Manator II Class Star Dreadnoughts. Unlike the Bellator Class Dreadnoughts, however, it focused on being a formidable weapons platform. With a length of 12 km, it was essentially a larger iteration of its predecessors. The Mandator III class was developed as one of the several heavy capital ships classes following the Executor class Star Dreadnought. It saw action in the campaign leading up to the Imperial Civil War. Number 8. The Sovereign Class Super Star Destroyer The Sovereign Class was a variant of the Super Star Destroyer, measuring 15 km in length, classified as a Dreadnought according to the Anaxis War College systems. It had a crew of 600,000 people with 4,000 gunners and a minimum skeleton crew of 86,000. Additionally, it possessed 75 iron cannons split equally between the front and sides, along with 100 tractor beam emplacements. The vessel was armed with 5 gravity well projectors, and this superstar destroyer could sustain its crew and carry 130,000 troops for up to 5 years. Number 7. The Asserter Class Star Dreadnought This ship, the Star Dreadnought, the Asserter, Manufactured by the Kuwait Dreyfjords was one of the largest vessels in the Imperial Navy's Dreadnought family, which included the Bellator class and the Manator class. It had a long, thin, narrow, arrow-shaped hull with a prominent ridge cutting or running along about three quarters of the dorsal face. The hull tapered towards the faint tail, which extended beyond the primary iron engines. The naval station called Validusia had the capacity to dock an asserted class Dreadnought along with several other capital ships and other docking systems were just unable to provide facilities to this big ship. Number 6. The Eclipse Class Star Dreadnought This class of ships were massive, measuring 17.5 km in length and ranking among the largest ever constructed. While slightly shorter than the Executor Class, they had significantly greater mass, surpassing the other Super Star Destroyers. These ships were armed with a deadly axial super laser, similar to the Death Star super laser but less powerful. The class incorporated advanced weaponry improvements including gravity well projectors and enhanced iron cannons, which were also found on other Star Destroyers. Number 5. The Executor Class Star Dreadnought Measuring 19 km in length, these Star Dreadnoughts had long-range sensors, 6 years worth of consumables, and featured a titanium-reinforced hull made of alu-steel resembling the design of an Imperial Class Star Destroyer. The bridges were protected by deflector shields and communications domes, and at least one ventral hangar bay and escape ports were present. The armament was impressive, consisting of over 5,000 turbo lasers, including 750 twin heavy turbo laser batteries and 1,000 turret mounted twin light turbo laser batteries. Number 4. The Vengeance Class Star Dreadnought Based on the Executor Class Super Star Destroyer, it measured approximately 19 km in length and its dimensions sometimes classified it as a space station. Unlike the standard dagger-shaped design, the Vengeance class had a slender and sword-like frame. The ship had a height of around 150 meters, with downward sloping armor dominating the dorsal frame. The extensive bridge covered most of the command tower, distinguishing it from other Kuwait Drive Yards warship classes. Number 3. The Eye of Palpatine this warship, known as a Battle Moon, was one of the Galactic Empire's early super weapons. It was designed to resemble an asteroid, complete with impact craters in order to remain undetected by enemy forces. Speculations arose about the secrecy of its development, with some suggesting it was to avoid outrage or to conserve material resources by repurposing a large space rock. In terms of size, it exceeded several Super Star Destroyers, although its length was similar to the Executor, its total volume, however, was several times over. Number 2. The Death Star 
The DS-1 Death Star Mobile Battle Station, also known simply as Death Star, was a massive moon-sized battle station created by the Galactic Empire. It was equipped with a powerful super laser powered by an enormous kyber crystals capable of obliterating targeted planets. It was a spheroid-shaped battle station with a diameter of 160 kilometers or 100 miles wide. It had 357 internal levels and a surface area exceeding 45,000 square kilometers. Located in the northern hemisphere was a prominent concave dish housing the super laser emitter. And number 1, the Death Star number 2. The second Death Star, also known as Death Star Mark II, was a partially constructed moon-sized battle station created by the Galactic Empire. It was intended to be larger and more powerful than the first Death Star, serving as the same purpose of instilling fear by utilizing its planet-destroying super laser. Additionally, the second Death Star was designed as a trap to lure the Rebel Alliance into a decisive battle, aiming to eliminate them completely. It would have been an enormous battle station with a diameter of almost 200 kilometers or 124 miles. So those are the 10 biggest spaceships of the Galactic Empire in Star Wars. So I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. Do hit that like button for support and subscribe. But most of all, smash that bell icon for regular updates and new videos right here on this channel. Take care, guys.